Duncan Idaho is a legendary warrior, a noble guardian of the House of Trades. His family he's sworn to protect. He's the samurai, he's the front line. He's trusted by the Duke and sent to Arrakis to be an ambassador for the Fremen. At the root of it, he would do anything for Paul. He becomes this one-man army standing between this extraordinary young man and the dark forces sent to wipe out his bloodline forever. Day one of stunts. Here we go. Uh, move. You're surprised he's Move. Move back. That's a cut right there. And then you're pulling. So this is the catch. So, I just saw the season finale of Game of Thrones last night. This fight's for you, Khaleesi. Like uh, this massive fight we did, broken in five sections, and then like, three other fights. It's really, really cool. And just trying to find Duncan's style and uh, trying to shake off Bob Lavasa's style. You guys alright? You alright? Yeah. Uh, nope. Hey! <laughs> Hi! I gotta fight all those guys. Look at their faces. Do you win, Papa? Yeah, I'm not gonna show you the end. I'm blown. My mind's blown. The visuals, the lighting. Greg's unbelievable. It's just an honor. I can't believe I'm on this movie. Oh, I'd love just to bring him coffee. You know what I'm saying? Yes. He was so giving and his eyes were very loving and like it's almost like he was looking at me, analyzing and looking, seeing me as Duncan. Like when when I talked to you know Denis and I'm in character, he's definitely like you see the 14-year-old, you see his passion, you see him looking at me like you are Duncan Idol, Jason. Just so very inspired, and um, I love it. it. It gets him amped up. Oh, cool! So she's gonna cut from that one front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very clever cut. Who's who's uh? Wow! Awesome. Looking, looking at the thing. Steal that one someday. That was fun. <laughs> Mark it down. Steal this. Fuck yeah! Holy shit! Bro! He's always like, the Momoa, the Momoa's here. And I just try to come home with as much energy as possible and, uh, and, and just not let him down.
Cut. One more plate. You don't see that in Iowa. Definitely don't see that in Hawaii. What a beautiful world. It was a beautiful way to kind of really get into the character. I wanted to go wander around with my friends. We went out and we would shoot in the desert at night and also in midday. So there were off hours and I wanted to collect. I wanted to, I, I got dressed up as a character. We went and found all these nooks and crannies and hiked up these cliffs. Really just got the feeling of being alone and being out there. It was fun just to be a kid and, and be an actor playing out there and letting my imagination um, just run wild. And so it was fun with my buddies and I think they did a really good job at capturing a lot of these images. sitting still if I'm not creating and making stuff you know, a little bit crazy so right now it's um it's 3 30 we broke at 12 30 because the light wasn't right so I wanted to go out and shoot with my buddies and uh look what we discovered on lunch break <laughs> Yesterday. We turned it around very quickly and we showed it to him and he got so inspired that the next day he wouldn't let us break and we went out and shot, which to me is kind of the ultimate, I mean, aside from him picking me, that was definitely one of the greatest moments as an actor because here's a man who's my absolute idol and inspiration as a director. I love every movie he's done. I love working with him and you go out and do something that inspires him. You know, there's just a freedom and this this freedom flow of going out and, and practicing and trying these things. He knows every frame of this movie. So to even inspire him to go find something or just, you know, just to go play so that you can be inspired in the craft of filmmaking. You know, him and Craig Fraser went out and shot and this image that we did together is in the movie, which was never planned. It's like such a huge honor for him to uh, to do that with me, and um, and then for it to make the final cut is just baffling. the costume design to be like from another world. Every single little thing had to be designed with the complexity and style. He didn't want to make a run-of-the-mill sci-fi film. He wanted something more psychological, but it was a big undertaking. The logistical needs of the film were equal to the creative needs, so we really had to mount a small army to achieve this. They did over 200 specialty costumes, some of which were very complicated to put together. I hold at your neck the gum jabar. Remove your hand from the box and you die. We looked at tons of medieval references, medieval nuns for the Bene Gesserit. It was a wealth of places from the past to create the future. One of my favorite images is when the Reverend Mother lands and she walks out of the ship with the following Bene Gesserit women and they look like scarabs. And it also resembles the harshness of the buildings and the landscape around them. The Harkonnens had their own colorway. The Atreides had their own colorway. And as we worked with this, we tried to separate those houses. You never met Harkonnens before. I have. They're not human. They're brutal. The Harkonnens are very bug-inspired with layers and scales and crusts. Even their helmet is very ant-like. 
Ugh, the costume is so good. They're some of the coolest things I've ever worn in a film. I mean, the costumes were gorgeous. The way they fit everyone. With the Fremen, the minute you put these robes on, it's a certain regality. The still suit, it's like heavy duty to make something that's just like a gray thing look so beautiful. I don't know how they did it. There was something about those still suits that were very practical. I felt myself come to when I put it on. You've worn a still suit before? No, this is my first time. Your desert boots are fitted slip fashion at the ankles. Who taught you to do that? It seemed the right way. I think that Denis is making a film classic, and I hope people come away with that feeling that I had watching those movies back in the day. Seeing films of this scope and of this passion, I hope that we've contributed to that in a meaningful way. Dude. In cinemas now. Book tickets.